Hi, born Ed Mead here, and I just wanted to hit y'all with the principle about living with excellence. And so, um, you know, another biblical story, y'all know I'm always using stories from the Bible, but some of you all have heard about the story of Daniel. So many of y'all have maybe heard about the story of Daniel in the lion's den, but even how he ended up in the lion's den is amazing. And so you have a lot of people who are, you know, who talk about having haters. A lot of people really don't have haters, you know, but Daniel... Daniel had haters for real. And what I mean by that is this. Daniel was actually a cat. He was a captive from another nation and he was brought into this nation. But this is the thing. When the people of the foreign nation that he was now in, he was he was basically a slave, a captor, right? A prisoner, so to speak. But when they saw the wisdom that he had, the excellence that, the, that he had, he was elevated to a position to where he was given a, basically made one of the leaders of this nation, right? A prominent man in the nation, so to speak. And even took him to the point where because of the excellence that he lived with, the people of other nation, of the other nation, even the, the, the king of the other nation declared that his God was the one true God, right? So imagine if you lived your life to such an extent where people are like, yo, with the amount of success that you're having, like, we have no choice but to believe that there's something that you're doing that works. But it's not just doing something that you're doing, right? Because we know a lot of people who might have success or might have what looks like success, but they've gotten it through dishonest means. But this is the dope thing about Daniel. Daniel, when, when his haters went to go and try to find something to, to show that he was... Um, Maybe he wasn't as deep as he said that he, as, as people thought that he was, or when his haters, right? Because imagine you live in a country and you want a position, but somebody comes in from elsewhere and takes your position, and you're like, why should he get it? So when they were looking at that, and they were like, yo, we're going to find something that shows that, nah, he's not the man, he's not the man of character that everybody thinks that he is. And so what happens is they go looking, and it says that they could not find one thing to accuse him of, right? That's how, that's how deep he was. That's how on top of his game he was. That's how excellent he was that they could not, when they observed, they saw that he wasn't trying to cheat his way in order to get, the, to, to get excellence. He wasn't trying to cheat his way to success, but his success actually came from doing the right thing and being so good at it and doing it excellently that the whole nation had no choice but to take recognition of it, right? And watch this. It got to the point where that the reason why they hated on the reason why he ended up in the lines then is because once they saw that, man, you know, we really can't find anything against him. That's when they started making stuff up. They made some they had to figure out they had to create a new law, which was a dumb law that said that, OK, the, the it basically said this, that him serving his God is now illegal. Right. And the king didn't realize that, that they were, that's what they were doing, but that's what they did. And then that's why the king has it like, man, like they tricked me into doing this. But thank, thankfully, Daniel still made it out or what have you. But what I'm saying is this. Your job, your one job, the one thing that you can do that will speak the most on your behalf, behalf is to live well and to live with excellence. What, there's a verse that says, whatever your hands find to do, do it with all of your might. Right. So if you can get to the point where even on the smallest tasks, you, you say to yourself, my goal will be that anything, anytime I touch something, I will give it my best shot. I will do it with excellence. I will clean with excellence. I will operate and handle money with excellence. I will be excellent within the different relationships that I that I find myself in. I will be excellent in my academics. I will be excellent. Like, do you notice? Do you notice um, uh, uh, Ty Gibson, uh, not, sorry, not Ty Gibson, um, Ty Lopez said this, um, I was listening to him the other day, and he said, he said this, people pay for stuff that is good and stuff that is great, stuff that is excellent, services and goods that are excellent, people pay for those things, right? But sometimes we want to get paid, and I'm not just talking about pay, remember we talked in another video about different things that can be spent but sometimes we want people to spend their money on us or we want people to spend their time on us or we want them to spend their energy on us or we want them to spend their attention on us and yet we have not given them anything of excellence 
to justify why they should spend all of that on us. So I'm challenging you, and I'm challenging myself too, that we will begin to do things, everything that we do, do it with excellence. Operate with a spirit of excellence. And if you don't have it, begin praying that God would give it to you, that he would show, put you around people who have it so that it can rub off on you, that he would start maybe sending you to YouTube videos or reading books that help you to begin living a life of excellence. All right? So live with excellence, man. Why? We're living with excellence because we've come to realize, I've already told y'all the story about my life, that average is failure. When I wasn't living with ex excellence, what was happening? I was getting, uh, I got kicked out of law school. I only graduated with a 2.3 GPA and couldn't find a job, right? Got let go from one of my jobs, okay? Ended up going through a divorce. Why? Because in all these areas of my life, I wasn't living with excellence. But now what's going on? What, well, some of that stuff I'm not, I can't reveal to you yet, but I got some good stuff going on. But some of the things I can't, right, reveal to you, I can reveal to you, let you know I got, I lost my job at one point, but now I, I'm, I'm, I'm a pastor. You know what I'm saying? Never even expected that. I'm a program coordinator. Um, um, got kicked out of school, right, but now I find myself, um, um, I graduated last year with my master's degree and had a 3.8 GPA when I graduated, okay? So you can turn it around. Average is failure. And look, what does the shirt say, right? Blood, sweat, tears. Blood, sweat, tears. The cost of a dream. The cost meaning what? The cost meaning that, yo, excellence. You're, you're, you want to live a life of excellence. That means that you have to give and become excellence. But guess what? To give and become, the word give means that this means that this is going to cost you something. It means that you're not going to be able to do all the other things that you used to do. Why? Because those weren't allowing you to live excellently, man. Or woman. So let's start changing things around, right? Blood, sweat, tears, the cost of a dream.